So this is a pretty big claim. One little thing that you can do, one habit that you can build that can transform your whole life. But it's absolutely true. <clears throat> I'm Ravi Tangri, and this is the Meta Yeah Nugget podcast. Every week I bring you a really simple tool that you can apply to shift the quality of your life so you have a whole lot more yeah and a lot less meh in your everyday life. So the tool for today, the, the technique that has such power is really simple. It is so simple, but it's, it does not have to be complicated. It's about gratitude. Every day, how much time do you spend looking around and feeling grateful for everything and everyone in your life? How much time? honestly, or do you spend your time, most of your time frustrated with all the things that are not work, working, the things that are going wrong and so on and so forth, which, where do you spend your time? If you're like most people, more time is going to be spent a whole lot on the frustrations. Well, the interesting thing is we have in our uh, brains, we have a real neat system called the reticular activating system or the RAS. Um, and what this is about is we get so much information pouring into us every single day. We're inundated with millions of bits of information. We could not figure it out in the slightest. And what this does is it filters it out for what's important to us. It picks out things where our name is there. It picks out things relevant to survival. Things are outstanding. But other than that, it filters things based on where we pay attention. So if you are focused on all the things that are frustrating in your life, guess what information your RAS is going to send in to you? More things that are frustrating, more things that are annoying, more things that are overwhelming because you've asked it to do that. The habit, the really simple habit that you can do to start to shift what information comes into your brain is to take a look at what you're grateful for in your life, the things that are working. There's simple ways to do that, a gratitude journal you do at night. You write down the three things that you're most grateful for the, in the day. You can share that with your kids. If you've got young kids, it can be a bedtime ritual. With teens, it can be something, conversation at, at dinner, a little more than, you know, what, what did you do today? Nothing, right? So you, you get into that. The other thing is, if you can actually schedule some time during the day to say, okay, what's working well? What can I celebrate today? How, and when things go right, how can you celebrate it? And by doing those little things, you'll actually start to shift your filters and you'll start to find more things that you can be grateful for. And every time you're frustrated, you pump thousands of toxins into your body with your, with your own uh, metabolism. When you're grateful, you pump in healing chemicals into your body you start to shift how you live just by building that habit but it takes a little bit of commitment are you ready to do that i'm ravi tangri and this is the meh to yeah podcast every monday we profile someone who's taken their life into an amazing realm of yeah so we can learn from them and midweek uh, to late week i give you a nugget podcast on one simple tool that'll help you totally elevate your life like this focus on gratitude you can access uh, the podcast uh, live on facebook here and on youtube plus you can get the full interviews and and all all the podcasts uh by subscribing to, to the podcast on my page at ravi tangri r-a-v-i-t-a-n-g-r-i.com just scroll down a little bit and you'll find the links have an amazing day and a great weekend, and we will see you Monday with a really cool interview. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.